want to take a second and segue over to Kalindi because, you know, obviously on court, off court, just the, all this started from this tennis and then into pickleball and, but a, a really big push these days too for on court, off court has been in the wellness area. And that's what I love about what you guys do is it's, it's really the whole person, the whole player, you know, that's what being a game changer is really all about. It's not just the technique and the training aid and those things, the, the mental aspect, health, wellness, all those things. And I know, Clindy, this is something that's very near and dear to you. And would you mind sharing just real quickly about kind of just, you know, what on court, off court's doing from a, you know, a wellness perspective? And I believe you have maybe a, a, even an exercise or something that we can walk through right here uh, to kind of, um, you know, give an example of that. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, as Joe was talking about these stories with the kinesthetic aids, I mean, I kept almost interjecting and saying, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what we're doing on the, you know, with the off court piece. And I've done many different mindfulness trainings and yoga trainings. And, you know, it's all about getting out of our head, which you get thinking and anxiety. And that's also how, you know, if you've ever had the experience in, um, in a tennis match or pickleball match or just any sport or life, like a getting tight and choking, that's when it's the mind you know, taking over and we're not feeling, we're not flowing. So it's like, that's, yeah, I feel like the on-court, off-court name had some, you know, predestination there and foreshadowing our off-court wellness line more um, since it, it's, you know, exactly as you said, Billy, it's about the whole player, the whole coach, um, making sure that they're taking care of themselves on and off the court. And yeah, I was, you know, competitive tennis player for, you know, many years as a junior and beat up my body, had injuries, learned the hard way how to, you know, take care of myself better. And I know we have, you know, we've had different full on webinars and discussions around that. So I won't bore everybody by talking for like an hour nonstop on that. But um, yeah, just briefly wanted to share an easy, an easy mindfulness exercise that can be done really anytime. It's a great one to do before you get out onto you know, the court, whether it's for practice or a match, it can be done first thing in the morning before bed. And really it's just a good basic check-in with the body and the breath to see how you're doing. And, you know, the more you practice bringing yourself back to the present moment, the easier it's going to be to translate that in any situation. Um, whether you're trying to relax on a forehand because you can, you'll notice, oh, I'm, I'm starting to do that thing again where I'm getting tight and I'm overthinking. And you can, you know, sometimes it's enough just to, the recognition is the first step because what happens to most people is, you know, it's the end of the day, the week, the month, the year, and it's, ah, I just feel so stressed. But where did that stress come from? Um, where did it, where, where's that root cause? And the more you can notice it in the moment, oh, I'm feeling some anxiety here. Oh, I'm feeling that here. You know what? Let me take a couple of minutes. Let me slow down. Let me breathe. The more you can be in the present moment. And, and that's, you know, that's what leads to happier coaches, players, people. Um, so yeah, if you guys are willing, I'll take you through. It'll just take like a, a minute or so. This can of course be extended longer but I'll just give a little bit of a taste and um, it's basically a check-in with the breath and with our thoughts emotions and physical sensations in the body so a good way to recognize what's going on and be able to release some tension so go ahead and get comfy wherever you're sitting maybe shake out your arms and legs a little bit let out a nice deep Full exhale. And then allow that inhale breath to arise naturally. If it feels comfortable, you can close your eyes or just take a soft, unfocused gaze in front of you. 